Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you one very, very simple tip that will ultimately change the way that you put together your outfits and make them feel more interesting and more unique to you. And this is something you can apply to every single piece you own in your closet. There's no gatekeeping here. I'm not going to hold out to the end to tell you what this is. It is to add some element of contrast or friction into your outfit. And what I mean by that is finding something that feels like it adds in a sense of juxtaposition. Maybe it is a polar opposite to one of the other core elements of your outfit, those core building blocks that form the foundation or the base of your look. I'm going to put some examples on screen of some of the different outfits which are at the more extreme end of the spectrum or a little bit more exaggerated than what I could personally put together using my own wardrobe. But I hope that these serve as really good examples. So you could see these ultra girly elements paired with things that are a bit more androgynous or masculine masculine that could be one way to pull this off alternatively you could look to add those more kind of sporty athletic elements to outfits that are a little bit more classic but they don't have to be complete polar opposites they can just be different so you're going to see this play out in some of the examples that I have to share with you and I'm going to show you a couple of different permutations on how you can make this work depending on which items in your outfit you want to focus on. Today's video includes a paid for integration with Goelia and I'm excited to be working with them again and I actually have a new code to share with you as you know I've had a discount code for a while now this is changing and will now be Jamie 10. I have that on screen and on the description box below but this allows you to get an additional 10% off any promotion that they currently have running so this is a stackable code which is amazing as this wasn't something you could do with my previous code and obviously a really good opportunity if you are planning to buy a few items some of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe have come from Goelia including my striped knitted jacket which I know many of you have also gone on to add to your own closets and the trouser skirt in black definitely two items I'm going to be having on rotation and if you do want to know what my top 10 pieces to buy from Goelia are I am going to leave that video up in the cards but I've picked out some new pieces for March which I will have all linked below that I will be using my examples to show you how to use this very simple style tip. So the very the first outfit I wanted to transform features this beautiful pale green silk suit from Goelia and I love this because it actually incorporates a trend color for the year ahead and I think this is a really beautiful way to add in those soft neutrals to our wardrobes which aren't what you typically think of being a neutral color. Now when I looked at these two items I immediately thought this would be a great suit for the office worn with some sort of camisole undershirt and some pointed toe pump. So this combination here especially with the structured bag immediately says work wear ready and I think it can be very easy to fall into that trap of thinking that that might be the only way to style it but also you can see that there is one singular vibe here so if we're thinking about how we can transform this a great way to go would be the opposite end of the spectrum so when we're thinking about formality we're thinking of work as being more formal so let's look to the opposite of that being something very very casual so a slouchy sweater and some sneakers felt like an appropriate way to really dial down the formality of the trousers and I've heard people refer to this as as a vibe sandwich but essentially it is another way to use that sandwich rule when it comes to putting together an outfit and you can see how this completely transforms the look and it's actually really quite interesting because you have the lax element of the silk trousers combined with that really soft slouchiness of the knit sweater and also the casualness of the sneakers and we could take this in the opposite direction and really dial it up in terms of formality and make it feel even more dressy so the way that I did this was I took off the undershirt and I actually decided to wear this blazer belted it comes with a matching silk tie which is really chic and I just wrapped that across my body rather than fastening it with a button and then I switched out the heels for a really glitzy pair that are crystal embellished that add this element of shine and then the bag and you can really see here how accessorizing just changing your shoes in your bag can be a major transformation maker for your outfit. The second outfit I want to transform has a real ballet core quality to it from that wrap detail of the blouse, the silky slinkiness of the skirt and then also the ballerina pumps which I think really lean in on this along with the quilted bag. So there's a few different directions that we could take this in. If we focus on the skirt being one of those core elements of the outfit, one simple thing that we can do is again to think about formality and use a really slouchy sweater to kind of dial that back. This time one untucked and you wouldn't have to touch another single element of this outfit but I think also using a different bag is a great way to kind of play this up a lot. Alternatively, what we can do is we can think about the slinkiness and the dressiness of the skirt and the shoes and then opt for things on top which strike 
that really nice balance. So I've gone with a t-shirt and then a bomber jacket, which has a sporty component to it and really feels at odds with what I'm wearing on my lower half. But you can see when paired together, they work so harmoniously. Then we can take it in the other direction, focusing on the top as the core piece of the outfit and switching out the skirt for something that's a little bit shorter, paired with a knee-high boot. And this adds this real edgy quality to it that was lacking before because it was quite feminine, quite pretty, quite sort of classic in a way. And now now it feels a lot more modern in that sense. And then I can really finish this off by throwing on a big oversized coat. The scarf style I think has this real Scandinavian element which works really well with the knee high boots. We all know how much I love that very typical stereotype of what Parisian style is. And so I thought I would replicate this here, kind of show you how you can make it feel a little bit different. So we're starting with a base where I'm wearing a Breton striped top, some white jeans, a ballerina, and then I've also got on my trench coat along with my little quilted bag. I mean, I don't really think it gets more Parisian Francophile-esque than this. So I wanted to think about how I could play on that and instead of these really classic elements I wanted to go for a jacket that was a little bit more utilitarian and you can see how this instantly changes the way that the outfit feels. I've kind of created a bit of a Canadian tuxedo in a way with the denim on denim. They don't exactly match but I think that they are complementary enough shades that they work together really well and this adds this additional kind of casual quality to the outfit. These very ladylike crop jackets Jackets have been a huge trend piece for the past 18 months and I think typically we tend to see them styled in this very kind of old money quite luxury sort of way and I wanted to show you how you can really break out of that mold and change the way that the outfit feels so we're gonna start with the base look of the long sleeve top and the skirt and I'm gonna transform this into something that feels a little bit more casual and sporty so we're going to switch out the jacket for a kind of quilted liner jacket so already this feels a little bit more athletic athletic and sporty as opposed to being straight up elegant and sleek. Then the shoes have also been switched out to a sneaker which again kind of highlights that more casual component that I wanted to add into the outfit. Then combined with the bag you can kind of see now how this has a completely different feeling and it actually feels really interesting because I've blended two completely different styles. Then on the other side I wanted to style up the jacket in a different way and I thought why don't we combine it with 90s minimalism. So I've got a very simple base of a tank and then also some jeans and I've added on some high shine gloss boots because I want to really add in some texture and you can see how this creates this very long and lean silhouette because I've got the crop jacket and it's really highlighting this illusion of me having very long legs which I don't because where the visual break of my outfit is and what's interesting about this to me is that this version of this outfit really serves to highlight the more military-esque details that are happening on the jacket which are really really beautiful those gold buttons things that kind of felt a little bit lost in the original version of the outfit it. The final outfit I wanted to transform involves this utility style jacket and matching skirt from Goelia. And when you look at it, these sort of have this utilitarian safari-esque chic vibe, especially when paired with those sandals in a really complementary color. And so thinking back to how I can really transform this, I wanted to add in a sense of modernity to the outfit because I thought that that would be really interesting. And one way I wanted to do this was with the injection of silver accessories. So I thought it would be fun to add on the silver a loafer which feels very different and very unexpected with this combination and then I've worn the little jacket top unzipped with a white bandeau underneath and I think this is a very fun playful way to wear this it feels interesting it feels unique and it feels very unexpected it's also worth noting that you can wear that little jacket top tucked in as well if you wished so you can see just through those examples that I shared, just using this very simple tip of looking for opposing factors, looking for things that don't naturally mesh together, that you can create an outfit that feels really unique and so personal to your own style. And I think that this is one of the really fun elements of personal style and actually just playing with our wardrobes and the things that we have so that we can come up with outfits that aren't typical and really act to mesh together items in your wardrobe that maybe you would typically not have thought to pair together, but actually work really well and I think this is a great way to maximize what we already have in our closets and also to highlight some of the memories that we have you know those cherished moments that 
are often scattered throughout what we have in our wardrobes that are the makeup, the kind of groundwork, the base of our own personal style and what makes everything that we choose for our wardrobe so unique. So that is it from me today. I hope you found this video helpful and if you are new here and you want to subscribe then I would love to have you back. Don't forget that you can use my code JAMIE10 over at Goelia to get an additional 10% off any order. I will have all the pieces that I shared linked down in the description box below and I will see you again very soon with a brand new video. Thank you so much for spending some of your day with me and I'll see you soon. Bye!